Okay, just recording a quick video here showing the final piece. These are really hard to take a photograph of because I always have some kind of reflection in it. The, the camera's in there or something like that, which is happening here with my studio lamps. You can see them right there. But I just wanted to show what this uh, final piece looked like framed. I think you can have a better idea of it even with all this glare in here. But when I take a still photo that looks like that, it looks terrible. But you can see just, um, okay, so this has been spray sealed and framed like that. So you can just see the, I don't know, the uniformity of a finish on here with it being in the frame like that. But, but also I unified with um, the spray sealant as well. So I hit it with a triple thick, uh, mostly around on the perimeter. So I wouldn't lose too much of that um, kind of textural uh, white pigment ink lighting lighting in that background there but uh, anyway so that's the final piece I really love these framed and that's this little border on here that these frames come with you can use it or not um, I think looks really good on there so I'm lo losing just a touch around the edge but I don't know I think what it makes up for in terms of uh, the presentation makes up for that but anyways I thought I'd show um, a couple other pieces here this one right here is currently up for auction that ends pretty soon and uh, this one was uh, like impossible to take a photograph of because it's so dark but um i thought in video form we can show a little bit of a better look um, of how this piece looks here in the frame the red balloon um, thematically and just I don't know the way that this one came together this one's always kind of stood out to me in terms of a, a finish um, I don't know in the, uh, the history of the channel always love that piece right there and I don't know just that little balloon in there from a thematic standpoint not something you see in my scenes uh, ever I was gonna say too often but uh, just certainly fun to do, and I was really glad to be able to do something from a thematic standpoint, um, being inspired by a uh, trailer for It that was coming out. <clears throat> it is the name of the horror movie, Stephen King, right? And here's another piece right here. I, I don't think I've uh, taken a photo of this one quite yet, or maybe I did, I'm not quite sure, but uh, look how great that looks in the, uh, the frame. I don't have this piece up for auction quite at this time. I got to enjoy it myself a little bit more, uh, but a lot of things learned <clears throat> with the layering of uh, alcohol inks and those trees. Look at all those colors in there and the richness of tone uh, provided by um, layering the um, uh, paint pens with uh, layers in between layers of spray sealant so um i don't know good to know about the uh the benefits of the spray sealant so now uh, these pieces become much more reflective the darker they are <laughs> you know so like in that darkness down there i don't know i mean you can see my window behind me in any case but um i don't know just a really great look to these things i'd never framed my pieces before but just a real simple frame on this 11 by 17 piece. I don't know. I think it improves by 50% or something like that. I don't know. Um, just from, uh, you know, just a plain piece of paper. So, I don't know, just really fun. If you have some larger pieces, I'd recommend uh, trying them out in the frame. You know, it's one of those things, you know. You don't have to do a type of permanent framing. You get these pick up these frames and uh, just, you know, switch out the scenes once in a while, but you can always have kind of a fresh piece up. But, you know, I'll put this one up on the eBay. And if anyone's interested in my favorite fisherman, that's the name of the piece, or fisherman's dream. <laughs> and uh, if you are interested in an original, I'm just looking at this in terms of the uh, all the details that I added in today here in terms of some shadow work increased uh value ranges and textural kind of uh details throughout the piece are really fun i like these little sparkling little highlights of this passage of light going through here so um 
always kind of fun and interesting seeing it, you know, formatted in a frame like this. I don't know. I think it, I don't know if it, I mean, it shouldn't really enhance it. I guess it just looks better from a presentation standpoint, but I was kind of wondering if it looked kind of deeper and richer with the glass over the top. I don't know. It almost does. I guess it adds in another layer of, uh, I don't know, what our transparency over the top of it. So I guess it is a little bit more three-dimensional just from that aspect. Anyways, if you have any questions, drop me a note in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching.